Whether you are a beginner or a professional, ProCamex is a great app that helps you take high quality photos and videos. Procam X is a powerful camera app that offers advanced camera features and manner controls for a mobile device. It is available for both Android and iOS devices and can help you take professional quality photos and videos. In this guide, I will show you how to use Procam X to take photos and videos like a pro. First, you will need to download and install Procam X from the Google Play Store or the App Store. Once you've installed the app, Launch it to start taking photos and videos. To adjust the camera settings, tap on the settings icon on the main screen. Here you can adjust the video resolution with the aspect ratio, video bitrate, microphone settings, and any other camera settings to suit your needs. Have access to the settings. Click on the settings on the main screen. So this is the full HD. It, it, it accepts up to 4K resolution. But I set mine. Uh, 920 1080p, which is the full HD. Then I to do another settings, just click on the settings icon. Then this is the video bit rate by default, it will be on 17 on my device, but I choose to set it on 20 uh, bit, uh, bit rate, so it's accept up to 100 bit rate. What you need to know about this is that it contributes positively to your device, but it will also the more you the more higher the number, as the higher the number is the more the kind of megabytes it will consume on your uh, on your phone so you need to take caution while picking while selecting any of these bit rate then this is the microphone icon then another thing that is very important is that you can also manage uh your space in case you do not have enough space on your device for this space that's what n r h q so if i select it to off uh, this is just, just like normal video recording, but I can, also, I can also set it to average, I can also set it to low quality, and I can also set it to high, uh, high quality. So as I'm pressing it, it will be, the camera is somehow adjusting. So but for me, I prefer picking the high quality. Then this is the frame point, it's not available, so I mean, I focus picking. So you can see it. This is the focus picking for you to know uh, the exposure and to know other settings to set. Then you can also uh, activate the grid lines for you to know what is going on. Or probably you want to set it. You want to set it uh, to set to the middle or other side of your screen. You can use this app of grid lines to do that. Then another important thing is that this uh, it's, it enables you to record directly to your memory card and the additional SD card or your phone memory card. So I, I am using additional memory card. To do that, just click on this settings icon. So this SIM is just for the normal phone storage, but I choose custom safe location, meaning that everything I'm recording with this program X, which will be going directly to my additional SD card. So that is that about settings part. Another thing that we can activate the uh, flashlight or torchlight. So this is the settings icon. Then you can set it to uh, maybe 10 seconds, 7 seconds, 3 seconds to take picture or take videos. Probably you want to video yourself. Just set it down. Set it to 10 seconds. Quickly run back and position yourself. So by nearly by 10 o'clock and uh, by 10 seconds, it will activate by itself. So this. Uh, arrow icon at the top before the hdr just for you to exit the application then the hdr is not available on my phone while recording but it's available when i want to take pictures so hdr is just high definition uh range of pictures like it's somehow different and beautiful than normal picture so if the when the hdr is activated you have good picture than when it is not activated so activated why some phone has HDR in their video, but some phones also do not have it on their phone. So to activate the um to to activate the camera and set um, pictures uh, photo icon, just click on this place. It will shift back to you can see it. So the HDR is not is now what available. 
so why to activate the video settings you just click on the video settings to activate a uh, front camera this is the settings you can see it so i'll get i'll take it back to the back camera cam x offers a variety of manner controls that can help you take more precise photos and videos access the manner controls tap on the manner icon on the main screen here you can adjust the focus iso shutter speed white balance and exposure settings here yeah, i'm going to discuss about the uh, manner controls so to start with uh the wb by your right hand side means white balance so there are different set or preset of white balance so if i I'm, i just click on it now uh before that it is it is currently on automatic white balance which is auto white balance so i'll click on it now so, uh i want you to be observing as i'm depressing each and every icons the uh, outlook of the screen you are looking at now is what's changing so the first one is i've selected the first one automatically you can see that uh the color of the flower and the leaf automatically what changed so uh this is this actually determines uh your location actually determines um what you want to set so uh the that is the purpose of auto white what white balance then another thing that you can also set it to uh manually as well so if i click on this is the manual icon uh, immediately after counting by counting it upward counting it upward immediately after the aw which is auto white balance the next icon is the manual what manual uh white balance so if i click on it now uh you can see it changed the color entirely from another color so the the two light blue dots i will be dragging it upward so as i'm dragging it upward the resolution i mean the screen or the interface will be changing as well so let's do that now you can see as i'm pressing it it is what changing so this is the uh so you might not necessarily need this but in case you do that is and uh, this is the place you can watch activate it so just go back to auto white balance now the next thing is the auto focus which is the f the letter f means auto focus so uh as i just explained auto white balance is everything under auto focus is somehow similar to auto white balance also because it has it also has manual focus and any other focus so the first one uh we're taking it from down from the up down so i click on the letter c this is continuous focusing so uh just go back to the place to and click on the m the, the, now the m means manner controls as i'm as i will be increasing or decreasing uh the manual focus settings automatically the flower and the leaf is, is either one will be fully clear while the others will be blown or the others will be clear why the other one will be uh uh okay so let's practice that now you can see that the mf is changing so um that is how to like set it now observe it very well the green leaves especially the two down they are now clear why the flower is somehow blown so and see you can practice it on your device as well now the the flowers looks somehow clearer than the leaf you mean that the effect of the runner focus has affected the two green leaves why the flower is uh, not affected so that is that about the um auto focus and um, manner focus and auto focus settings so you can uh practice other uh icons under the manner focus and auto white balance as well and the next thing is i want to talk about this letter s so this is the shutter speed so automatically by default it is automatically on this as of today that i'm pressing it it is on 30 seconds so as i'm decreasing it automatically the screen will be coming down but will still be okay so if you do not have light don't try this don't even go there but if you have enough light you can just bring it down and you can use your 
camera settings or li camera lights and any other uh, attachable lights you have in your studio or in your every anywhere you want to do your recording to get the actual thing. But the thing is that if I'm decreasing it, the light will be too much and the uh video will be now we now what be slow. As you can see that it's not as fast as it was before. So is it that you leave it around um 24, 25, 30, 60, 120 and so on. So don't take it below 24. So don't take it below 24. And then uh so if you if you don't want to set yourself just leave it at automatic just click on the automatic icon beside it from this place automatic and it take back you can see it take me back to what 24 frame point, uh, 24 shutter speed now the next thing is the iso which is the uh i thought this also contributes to the uh, brightness and darkness of your resolution so by default or uh to normal settings it's not supposed to be with 100 well it's because the uh the resolution is somehow dark so you cannot select either 200 or 400 know that the 400 is too much so you can pick 400 or just leave it at automatic now uh if i haven't sent all this that doesn't mean that even if i select it to even if i pick 20 and i set this shutter speed to maybe uh 30 that or let me see if 40 uh, 30 is okay that doesn't mean that as I'm recording, the resolution will not be changing. So as I'm moving it like this, uh, the once I click on the record button automatically, uh, what will happen is that the resolution and the interface of the screen will be changing. So in order to avoid that, that is when you can now start using the EV, which is uh, exposure settings. So uh if i satisfy let us assume i'm satisfied i'm satisfied with the way everything is every everything is looking so i'll just click on the ev icon and then i'll lock the padlock beside the add it down just click on it then wherever i'm moving the camera or the phone nothing will happen to what to the resolution so it will remain as i've set it before clicking on the uh, camera icon to activate the recording but if i did not do that it means that as i'm moving or as the weather is changing also so also this resolution or the interface of the screen will be changing so you can also adjust it it's automatically in 0, 0.00 i mean the ev so i want to change it i want to bring it down once i bring it minus minus the brightness of the screen will be reducing you can see just like uh that of um uh i uh, iso so and if i'm taking it up the brightness of the screen will be too much as well you can see so it means that if, for, for every settings you set uh this if you allows you to padlock it so any changes or only on plan or on set changes will not just happen to your device and make it uh not not usable for you so uh you just click on the lock button and then you are good to go so this is generally uh how to set program x so if you have question at the end of watching this video you can drop it on your on the comment section and i promise i will answer your question and do the best i can Camex is a powerful camera app that offers advanced camera features and manner controls for your mobile device. With ProCamex, you can take quality photos and videos. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, ProCamex is a great app that helps you take high quality photos and videos.